Hello everyone, uh, my name is Govinda Presta. Uh, I am located at Southern Oregon Research and Extension Center. I work with Oregon State University and I am a hemp extension faculty with OSU. Cornierum uh, is most important pest on a hemp, particularly grown for smokable flower and CBD production. And Corniorum, uh, uh, cat Corniorum moth caterpillar feeds on flower bud that causes the bird to rot and eventually it impacts the yield and quality of flower and biomass thereby causing a significant economic losses. When it comes to integrated pest management of Corniorum, monitoring and scouting of corneum population is critical. As you can see on my side, this is a Heliotis trap. Uh, it is most commonly used uh, trap to to monitor the corneum populations. And for this trapping program, we use pheromone layer. As I, can, I want to bring that pheromone layer in my hand. This is corneum pheromone layer that use that catches male moth and uh, you can buy easily from many uh, pheromone company so what we do is that we we put this trap uh, at the field border not inside the border not inside the field because you wanted to making sure that you know you are you are catching the populations that are coming to your fields but you have to remember that you have to wear a gloves in your hand because sometimes you know pheromone lures you don't want to contaminate your hand with the lures so what you do is normally is like you wear a gloves uh, so let me talk about how we, how this uh, trap works so we put pheromone lear uh, on a base here and uh, with a string and then what happened is that the male pheromone male, male moth are attracted with this uh, the scent and then they will fly away fly and go on the top where you can see it's kind of like a box where they come up and then they stay here and then as a grower um, you need to change you need to you need to you know you need to come and look at two to three days interval and typically on a Tuesday and a Friday you come and take out this topper and you know see how many there and and make this box empty so that you don't you know uh, you don't uh, you have the new one otherwise if you put it back on the same one it will confuse and in this way you record the number what's the, the status of corneum moth on your field around surround and one thing I wanted to highlight here is that corneum are only active in the night that's why the monitoring is important because you cannot see that moth in the daytime so that is extremely crucial that having a pheromone trapping program uh, uh, on your fields and one point is that when you started finding the corneum moth and now comes to the scouting of your field to see is there any corneum eggs or caterpillar uh, on your flower bud just want to let you know that corneum moth are highly attractive to flower so that's when in a hemp that you start thinking about scouting your caterpillar or corneum egg when you think about how long pheromone lure can last they usually last for two weeks so you have to change pheromone lure at two weeks interval to maintain the efficacy of your work if you don't change it you might not catching a uh, corneum moth this pheromone trap might catch both true and false corneum because they are closely related sibling but one point is that false corneum has not been reported as a pest of hemp so therefore uh, correct identification of true and false corneum is critical when we think about true corneum and false corneum here is the false corneum on the left side and true corneum on the right side if you look at the front wing of false corneum it has some intricate pattern but when you look at on a true corneum they don't have the pattern that's one uh, morphological difference between true corneum and false corneum another um, 
criteria is if you look at the hind wing, they have kind of dark spots. You can see clearly here on a false corneurum and that does not exist on true corneurum. And also in many cases, false corneurum are a little smaller uh, when, when you think about a true corneurum. As we discussed earlier that uh, when you find corneal moth on a trap, now your second step is to scout on your flower because where the corneal female moth lay the eggs. So what, what you do is you come to your plants that has already been bloomed or already in flower, you come there and start looking the eggs that might have laid on a, on a flower buds or on a small leaves that is close to, close to the flower. So when you find the corneurum uh, eggs, uh, you know, normally egg will hatch in a five days. So you need to start thinking about how you can time your management strategy. So, so far in our Rogue Valley area, there has not been tested what product can be used to manage the, to manage the corneurum caterpillar, but based on the, based on the research that has been done in uh, other states such as in Virginia Tech, they found out that Gemstar is a nucleopolyhydrosis virus of cornea uh, in combination with insect pathogenic fungus called Botanic Guard, that's a trade name, and strain is GSA. If you use, if you combine and apply uh, on your bud, that helps to kill or suppress or minimize the caterpillar damage. If you have any question about corneal management and on hemp, please feel free to reach out Southern Oregon Research and Extension Center and myself Govinda Shrestha. Uh, thank you.